Okay, now we get to what I consider to be the most complicated part of the FCOM install, which is installing the mods where FCOM gets its name from, Francesco's Warcry, Oskiro's Oblivion Overhaul, and Marty Jen's Monster Mod. If you go back to the FCOM thread, you see that we already installed the unofficial patches, and the next mod that we get to install is Francesco's Leveled Creatures and Items. So if you go to where you downloaded all of your files and go to the Francesco's folder, run the exe. Okay, when you get here, I'm going to not install it to the Oblivion data folder. Instead, I'm going to install it where I have all of my Francisco's files. This folder right here. If you have Shivering Isles version, be sure to check this. This option is uh, preferred. You want to install this mod with mobs. Hardcore loot is fine. However, when you get here, uh, make sure not to select Living Economy. This version of the mod is outdated, and if you want Living Economy, it's generally recommended to use Enhance the Economy instead. Okay, when you get here, we're going to make some changes. First of all, deselect Group 1. If you have Shivering Isles, check just the bottom option. We can disable Group 2. Group 3, make sure the top two are checked. If you have Shivering Isles, check this option as well, the optional chance of more enemies. We don't need option 4. And for the new third-party creatures and items, deselect the second one. Make sure the f one for new items add-on is checked, uh, but we don't need the new creatures add-on. Select Next. You do not want to merge these files. You want to keep them separated. Select the game default options for all of these. We don't need to visit the f forums. Okay, and it's finished. Now if you open up this data folder, you'll see that we have all of these ESPs. Okay, now we're going to need one more thing. If you go back to your Fran folder, we have this 7-zip file. If you open that, and extract this BSA We have the BSA here. Move it into your data folder. And you're going to have to rename this BSA something else. If you go to the FCOM thread, come right here to the France Quick Install Guide. Um, all of this is what we've already done. And we're going to be doing this. The BSA is this optimized version. We have to rename the BSA this file name. Okay, so now you can double check if you want to make sure that we have one, two, three, four, five, six. These six ESM or ESP files, we have those six right here, and we have the BSA right there. So select all of these files, right click and 7-zip, you're going to add these to an archive. 
and we can call the archive Francisco's Okay, with this Francesco's archived zipped file, you can cut that and put it where you have all of your zipped archives for um, Rybash to install. There, now Rybash will find Francesco's. One last thing if you want, go to your Fran folder and you can delete this data folder now. There, now Francesco's is ready to be installed with Rybash. Next, if we go back to the FCOM thread, after Francesco's is Oskiro's Oblivion Overhaul. This one's actually very easy. Go to where you downloaded the Oskiro's Oblivion Overhaul files copy those and just paste them right there okay after that we get to oblivion warcry go to warcry and this uh, Warcry has only the ESP, and this Warcry has the BSA, so you can just select both of those. And paste them here. Okay, after Warcry, we're going to skip a couple of these mods and go right to Marty Jen's Monster Mod. Go to your MMM folder and select all four of them. And move them to your Rybash Mods folder. Okay, after you've done that, we're going to have to rename the MMM BSA something else. If you scroll down in the FCOM thread, you'll get to this FCOM troubleshooting. And down here, where the issue is game crashing when you leave the sewers, it'll say to rename your MMM BSA this so you can copy that double click your MMM BSA rename it to the proper BSA name for Marty Jen's monster mod okay now Marty Jen's monster mod is all set Finally, we have to configure the FCOM files themselves. Select the beta 9.9, .9, and you're going to want to say extract here. You're going to want to do the same thing to this file, the FCOM Convergence. This holds the BSA. Okay, move the BSA into the folder that's now made you can delete the meshes and textures because those resources are already in the BSA and in the FCOM additional optional add-ons select everything and move them all where the other ESPs and ESMs in the BSA is then you can delete this folder 
Also, if you want to, you can take the test resource and paste that there. If you ever want to test DEFCOM yourself, then you can delete the test resource and modders resource folders. Okay, go up one directory and you're going to right click on the folder and say add to archive with 7-zip. That name is fine. When it's done making that archive, select that one, select Entropic Order Rebalance, select FCOM Warcry, and UFCOM. And you can move those to your Rybash Mods folder. There! Now all of the mods you need there are in Rybash. Okay, I'm going to download one more mod. It's not part of FCOM, but it helps test FCOM a little bit easier. If you Google Alternative Start, should be the top one, Arrive by Ship. You can download it right here. I have that in my FCOM Other Mods folder right here. So you can copy that and move that to your FCOM folder as well. Not FCOM folder, your Rybash Mods folder. There. And this will help us test to make sure that FCOM is installed properly a little bit easier and faster. Basically, Alternative Start lets us get out of the sewer stage of Oblivion really fast. Whenever you're activating all sorts of mods and rebuilding the bash patch and Rybash, it's a good idea to check to make sure that the game's actually working. And so if you can get out of the sewers and actually get into the real game of Oblivion to test to make sure that there's no glaring bugs or glitches, that's really good to do. Uh, that way you can tell if a mod is giving you problems or not. And so the reason we got Alternative Start is to get out of the tutorial stage of the game and into the actual game, basically in a matter of minutes. So that's why we got Alternative Start.